Hi, welcome to another tutorial. You see I'm running a 18F 45K 20C 8-bit microcontroller uh, running at 16 megs using this uh, ceramic resonator. This is running normal speed at the moment. The purpose of this uh, video is to demonstrate two things. PLL enable bit, phase lock loop, multiplier, uh, standard on these 18F controllers. But, so we're going to enable that now and you just hear it speeds up rapidly fast enough to show a, a JPEG anyway with, I haven't got the JPEG enabled with the PLL disabled, it's just too slow this picture would take over one minute to produce without the PLL enable bit so I'll let you watch that for a second and while that's playing uh, the second part of this tutorial I bought Microelectronica's Mini 32 so it's a uh, a PIC32 microcontroller in a dual inline package 40 uh, 40 pin. You see the uh, PLL enable bits just been disabled there in the software and now it's running a lot slower. If you uh, just watch how long it takes to refresh the screen. So I thought that's I'll show you two bits here. Yeah, so running colour TFT uh, 18F microcontroller and then I'll plug this in and show you the 32-bit on the EasyPick version 7 board so 40 pin form factor plug it in this one you program uh, via bootloader mini USB so look we're enabling the PLL bit there and you see it starts running faster in case you're not familiar in case your programmer hasn't got the uh, facility to enable the PLL you can do it in the software just PLL enable underscore bit equals one. Get it running about four times faster. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, you program this with a bootloader. They're saying saves you having to buy um, a programmer. But <coughs> excuse me, if you're going to spend 170 pound or more on a 32-bit compiler, then there's little point in not spending 30 or 40 pound on a programmer. Also with this, I can't program it on this Easy Pick version 7. Uh, it's not set up for it. And my Fusion board, I can't program it on there either. Because it's a wrong form factor, I can't plug that 32 bit in there. So I have to use a bootloader. Uh, it's handy if you've got printed circuit boards made up to accommodate these. 18F chips. Right now that's finished. Well, I'll pause this uh, video, plug this in, it's already programmed, then you will see the uh, difference change. Right, I've uh, just plugged this in, turn the power on. Right, what happens because it's got a bootloader, it doesn't do anything for about five seconds, it waits to see if you're going to connect this to uh, install any software. Uh, and then it starts running the program. Right, so all I've done, taken out this 40 pin, 8 bit microcontroller, stuck in a 32, you see written there, the mini 32. Don't know if the camera will pick this up. So now I run down to this, I haven't changed anything else. Run down to the display. Uh, this is a larger picture as well. I had to reduce the picture size because of the uh, memory on this but it's a larger picture you can see it's very rapid so I suppose the advantage if you've got circuit boards as I said before if you've got circuit boards that accommodate these chips and you want to run colour TFTs or just do something faster then these are pretty good. A bit disappointed when it said they're pin compatible with the 887 uh, 16F887 and the 18F chips. Uh, they might have the same pin configuration but the pins are totally different pin out uh, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you the code how to get these TFTs running on the ATNF as well. You can see it's rapid marked improvement. Look at the speed of that picture fantastic. But I've got the Fusion which is 32 bits anyway uh, with a uh, 
MX-7 microcontroller, which is a, the, the RAM, it's a lot bigger as well, or ROM, it's a lot bigger. Right, I'll pause this and show you some code. Right, before I show you the code, this is the uh, data sheet, PDF for the Mini 32, as you probably guessed. Now you see here, so that's the 32-bit microcontroller they're using. Look, pin compatible, the 16F887 and the PIC 18LF45K20. Uh, that controller you saw me unplug is actually that I've been using the 46K22 more RAM. Uh, so am I going mad? But this pin compatibility issue, let me scroll down. Well, that's the board, close up of the board. It uh, runs on 3.3 volt power supply, but it's internal regulator uh, for programming. programming programming excuse me off USB that's the bootloader free software from microelectronica right so if I expand this this pin compatibility issue on uh, I want to talk about briefly well so if we look at the left hand so we're looking at the left hand pin first left hand lower pins on the 32 bit master clear in the same place powers in the same place but that's it, nothing else is, is in the same place. Took me ages to figure it out. Oh no, look, R E R uh, R E nor R E1. You want the 887 or 877 and the 16F, uh, 18F chips. These are all RD ports, RD naught one. Uh, you need the RD ports for the TFTs. Uh, don't think it's got to be on the same port. So there's a, have a quick look at that you'll see hopefully got all this in so the 32 has the same pins just they're scattered all over the place not in the same place at all so that's the left hand bank for the 32 if I change this over to the right hand bank there's a right hand bank pull the uh, other package back up so I can't move that over anymore oh. I'll hang on to it there and uh, there we go there's a right hand bank there's a right hand bank of the mini 32 here and there's a right hand bank of an 887 877 the pic 18f series so that's it I thought so they yes have the same pins just in different configuration so I wouldn't call that pin compatible but maybe that's just me right close this down so if you want um, your easy pick version 7 to run a TFT that's the in configuration or programming using microelectronics, uh, micro C Pro for pick uh, data board and all the register select, um, read write that sort of stuff. Uh, C C S chip select, uh, register select, reset bit that sort of stuff. I'll forget that, forget the timer, that's for something else. So I'm in initializing the TFT display. Uh, this is for the 18 uh, series chip, so that's making the pins digital, turning comparators off, and this is the while loop, so this is what you've been watching. So I'm just literally painting the screen different colors, putting random text. Uh, this is how you enable the PLL uh, so enable PLL uh, PLL enable bit equals 1 so you can see in the loop look PLL EN underscore bit equals 1 uh, and on the 18 series chips that's uh, a 4 times multiplier so you can do that in the software just enable the PLL you can see random colours again that picture then come up 
of the river, random colours left to right, top to bottom, and then disabling the PLL. Uh, do you see that bit there? Uh, right, that's it. So hopefully, he's taught you a bit about the PIC 30, Mini PIC32 um, programmable via bootloader, uh, running on TFT on EasyPIC version 7. Um, and that's it. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much.